1968, my mother took us on a trip to Virginia. We caught the Greyhound bus from Baltimore to her small hometown, Brown Store. I was about seven years old, and it seemed to take forever. We stayed in Virginia for only a few days and then returned home to Baltimore. Upon our return, we were welcomed with armored tanks, soldiers on rooftops, and blacks who were breaking storefront windows and stealing and running through the streets. Other residents of the community watched from their apartment windows and stoops. Good evening. Dr. Martin Luther King, the apostle of nonviolence in the civil rights movement, has been shot to death in Memphis, Tennessee. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had been assassinated and the city was in an uproar. Stores were set afire and some store owners were beat. An armored tank drove right down the street where we lived. In school, we were learning about the philosophy of Dr. King. This event was especially meaningful to me. Even at seven years old, I felt a part of it all. Dr. King was an icon. On April 4th, 1968, at 6.01 p.m., the whole country, blacks and whites alike, felt his loss. Hate was something that I had not been taught as a child. To see so many people upset and expressing that hate by looting our neighborhood stores didn't really make sense to me. Eventually, the National Guard departed and the looted items were sold in the community by the neighborhood thieves. There was loot hidden everywhere. My brother and I were lucky enough to find some, some of the sodas, candy, and canned meat hidden in the abandoned houses where we played. We ate whatever we found. In school, we were told that the bad people had killed Dr. King because they were afraid of what he was trying to do to bring all people together. We were told to continue thinking as he did and that one day the world would be a better place. I believe that there are those of us who have the ability to sift through the good and bad experiences, making their own way in life. Don't misunderstand me. I have experienced a heartache, disappointment, tragedy, and confusion that are all part of living. For my life is not my own. I'm sure of that. I believe that at an early age, I learned the importance of independence and responsibility. We do not have to be a product of our environment or our upbringing. If we give ourselves a chance, we can be anyone and do anything we set our minds to. I am living proof of that. Once we become of age, we have the choice of continuing to live as we have become accustomed to as a result of our surroundings, or we can step up to the plate and take a swing. If we miss, so what? Step up there again. What do we have to lose? Realize there are obstacles out there that have been in place for years. We don't have to change that. We have to overcome it first. Then the change will come. Most importantly, you must be willing to do what is needed in order to maintain your new self and carry on the doctor's dream.